which is my evaluation of the monetary policy in the US during the uh, Obama period. First of all, let me clarify some things which are really important on the rules of the games. The central bank of the US, the Federal Reserve System, is independent on the president of the US. So we have to evaluate the Fed policy per se. Okay, the Fed is an independent central bank, but how independent is? The overall evaluation of independence is it, it's a, a weak independent. Why? Essentially for two reasons. First of all, the Federal Reserve is involved in two fields. On one side, monetary policy, on the other side, financial supervision. And the more a central bank is involved in more than one field, the more there is ambiguity and uncertainty in its action, and this is not a good thing. On top of that, just in the monetary policy fields, the Fed is characterized by a so-called dual mandate, i.e. its action is driven by two goals, growth and inflation. And again, the more you have goals in the monetary policy, the more there could be uh, too much discretion, too much ambiguity. So, in order to evaluate the overall Fed action, we can point out our attention on the chairman. First of all, there was Bernanke, and we can split the Bernanke periods in two phases. After the crisis, after the 2008, he addresses and fixes financial stability problems in a good way. And in order to summarize my evaluation, we can give a grade 8 on 10. Then uh, he zoomed on macro stability problem in order to trigger employment without too much inflation. And in, in this field, he abandoned the rules which characterized the previous years in the Fed action. And without the rules, again, there is too much ambiguity, too much discretion. So my grades is lower, is 6 on 10. After Bernanke, uh, Jeanette Yellen came. And unfortunately, in, in the legal action, there is even more ambiguity. No rules, just a declaration that uh, her action is data dependent. Okay, it's true, but which kind of data are the driver of the Fed action? We don't know. So this is not good again. And so my grade, unfortunately, I'm afraid, it's very low, 4 and 10. Summing up, my evaluation, overall evaluation of, on the Fed policy is, is six because given a weak institutional setting, it can be important to have very strong and credible rules of the games. Without these rules, the central bank risks to be captured by the politician and or by the bankers. So the overall evaluation is not so high.